Thank goodness I'm staying out of there. Hey everybody, I'm Dave. I hope this finds you happy and healthy. Today we are in Gloucester, Virginia. It's on the beautiful Middle Peninsula of Virginia. 500 miles of shoreline here, population about 36,000. A lot of history here. Evidently this is where Captain John Smith met Pocahontas. And right now I am in the oldest living village in the country. They call Gloucester the land that makes life worth living. And we're gonna find that out today. When was the last time you wrote a love letter? I think we should all ask ourselves that question. In fact, let's go ask Luann. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? There's Luann. This is her store, Angel Wing Stationers. Luann, when's the last time you wrote a love letter? I'm going inside to write one. I have beautiful <laughs> stationery. Beautiful crazy and who, stationery. And who are you going to write the love letter to? To my special husband. Oh, he's a lucky man. Yeah. You're welcome. And I will be right back with the suit. Oh, we were so hungry. All right, usually on any to-do list, like you go to TripAdvisor or Fodders, typically what you're not going to see is go see the village blacksmith, but that's where we are. George has made a forged hook, which was amazing to watch. George, what's your favorite thing about living in Gloucester? Well, it's pretty family family oriented. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty big sense of community. Um, Great place for blacksmiths. Yeah, it's a wide open area. There's a lot of land and uh, a lot of wildlife to take in. And it just, uh, it's a nice, nice little town, a lot of history. That was super cool. Thanks to George, the village blacksmith. Gave me a new hat and also my first ever forged bottle opener, which I think we'll probably use tonight. Thank you, George. And our thanks to the Mike Duman Auto Superstore in Suffolk for letting us use this 2014 Mazda 6. Gave us great gas mileage getting to and from Gloucester and has everything inside the car you'd want for a nice trip. So evidently, every year they have a big daffodil festival in Gloucester. Never been to a daffodil festival. And at the epicenter of said daffodil festival is Brent and Becky's bulbs, and that's where we're heading now. Even have daffodil lane. It's like pulling into a winery. coolest bathroom ever. All right, we want to thank Denise for coming in on her day off and showing us Brent and Becky's favorite part of living in Gloucester. Being on the water and how generous and accommodating the community is. So if your husband brought you flowers for Valentine's Day or your birthday, are you like, are you kidding me? This is the lamest gift ever. You didn't go to anything. You didn't go to anything special links. Oh, Does he no. bring you flowers? No, he doesn't, but I wouldn't mind if he did. Oh, really? <laughs> because we enjoy flowers. That's what we do. And so we love to see them. We love to receive them. But he thinks because I look at them all the time, mm -hmm. I don't need to actually get them. We got to give her a good website plug. What is it? www.brentandbeckysbulbs.com. Jay, are you listening? You can go there and you can buy your flowers. I'm begging you, Jay, come on.
right, so earlier today we actually interviewed somebody who was from Virginia Beach up here for the day. Uh, this is somebody from Virginia Beach who's up here for a lot longer. So you just moved here, right? Yeah. From yeah. Virginia Beach. Yes. Uh -huh. How long have you been here? We Not moved even a Thanksgiving. Month. Thanksgiving. All right, so about yeah. a month, maybe two. How do you like it so far? We love it. We're glad to be away from the the traffic. The traffic. Yeah, we don't have to worry about traffic <laughs> at all here. I had to leave a lot of my friends. Well, <laughs> I tell you what, have but them like your elementary have them come up here, show them this place, and I think they'll be okay. It's right. just as good as the beach, yeah. right? Mm. So you're supposed to take your hat off in the restaurant, right? So we are wrapping up our day in Gloucester. It was just a beautiful day, especially for January. It's like 60 degrees. We're wrapping up our day in Lulu Bird's Kitchen. It's right on Main Street. Highly recommended. It was just fantastic. We were talking to Isabel, who is the owner. Her husband is the chef. They moved up here from Miami four years ago. I had the uh, tacos. Joy had the light fried oysters. Fantastic. So when you think of small town, America, whatever that means to you. I think probably the epitome of that is Gloucester, Virginia. So I'll put all the links in the description below. We had a great time and hopefully we'll see you up here in Gloucester. Thanks for having us.